Querido Hernán, muchas gracias por tu carta. A personalized message from a dear friend is always a good gesture. I ask you to keep praying for me and may God, may, may Jesus and the Blessed Mother uh, take care of you. But when that friend emails you a month after being elected Pope, it's practically a blessing sent from God. He was a busy man at the time. Yeah, he was. Can you imagine <laughs> with all the job and all the situation in the church? And, but he had the time for, for friends. Father Hernán Paredes has known Pope Francis for three decades. Their first meeting back in the 80s when Pope Francis was rector Jorge Mario Bergoglio, the head of a hundred seminarian Jesuits, including now Father Paredes. What do you call Pope Francis? Uh, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> they stay in touch by writing letters and emailing, all in Spanish. That's because Paredes says... Forgive me, Pope Francis, but he failed twice to, to learn English. <laughs> he went twice to, and it is, uh, he told me, yeah, confidence, but, but uh, there are no confidence anymore. This picture, a memento from their visit in Argentina, a few months before Francis became Pope. He gave me his blessing, but at the same time, I asked him to have a, a picture. So, and he told me, oh, Hernán, I, uh, I am not a man of pictures. I do ugly, and you can see it's very, it's very, very serious. <laughs> now with his rock star status, the 78-year-old pontiff, who loves listening to opera, is probably one of the most photographed faces on the earth, and one of the most quoted as well. His message during his three-country visit to South America, one of inclusiveness, service, and democracy. Next on his agenda, Cuba and the U.S. in September. Father Paredes says he doesn't know if Pope Francis, famous for his who am I to judge quote about homosexuality, will comment about the recent Supreme Court decision legalizing same-sex marriage. Remember the, that the tradition of the church doesn't change overnight. And at the same time, he's, uh, he, he acknowledged that there are other ways of living. Father Paredes, who now lives in New York, recently visited with the Pope in the Vatican his first time seeing his dear friend since being elected. It was an emotional reunion. Although he said that I am too American now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, probably uh, I put away and he put away. <laughs> <laughs> like two old friends, they poked at each other. One of them just happens to be Pope. Rosa Flores, CNN, Quito, Ecuador.